back to Primitive Organic Garden. Thank you all for tuning in today. It's about the uh, 8th of May or so. I just whacked down all of the winter barley and crimson clover recently. That was my winter cover crop. It didn't do as much to suppress some of the summer weeds as I had hoped. I have a lot of Bermuda grass and quack grass and crab grass and all kinds of per perennial grasses and I had a nice stand of you know rye and barley and clover and it's formed a fairly decent mat. You can see the collards with all the barley around them, but uh, I'm not sure it's going to suppress all the grass. So I'm probably going to have to plant something real vigorous over there, like maybe corn or okra. I got a little corn patch over here, but some of the tomatoes were out competing it. There's uh, some giant pumpkins or blue squash down there next to some kale. I need to do something with uh, this little garden bed next to the shed here. I got tons of fava beans everywhere, including that bed. I'm afraid to eat them. I got some cucumbers and pole beans. This was always just a big, you know, mud puddle. I never realized I could grow anything here because it's ridiculously shady all the time. But I decided to plant some pole beans and cucumbers there and see if they might tolerate the shade. And they seem like they're doing great. Pretty low investment bed there. Farm dog! <whistles> Sir! Where's farm dog at? Where's farm dog at? Got some banana peppers. Loquat tree's doing great. Lots of tomatoes. Look at all this mint. And all the dills in bloom. Compost piles, lots of leaves. Things looking pretty good. closer look. I also got a bunch of stuff in the front yard now. Tomatoes and guava tree. Oh, I feel like there's a hole in the roof right here. Oh wow, there is. Oh, that's not good at all. There's definitely a soft spot in the roof right here. What if I just fell right through the roof and ended up in the middle of the living room with the trailer right now? part where I have to like decide whether to put my phone in my pocket and have it cut off or put the phone on the ledge and hope that it doesn't break. This is like a brand new $300 phone so I don't want to put it in my pocket. So it's going to go dark and it's possible the video might just cut off. Which would really suck. But I'm not trying to worry about that. It's not really the salient issue at the moment. The salient issue is getting down off the roof. I don't have a ladder. Y'all didn't notice. I mean, I do have a ladder. I don't ever get it out. Ugh. All right, let's look at the tomatoes in the front yard. Oh, hell yeah, the video is still rolling. Plenty of pineapple guava.
Some tomatoes in the front yard. Tomatoes in the front yard. Let's go. Farm dog! Farm dog! Farm dog! Hey bud! Hey buddy! Hey buddy! You good dog! Doing farm stuff? Got some collards in the shade with some cayennes and some collards in the shade with some chocolate habaneros and citrus trees. All that chard. My tomatillos are finally popping up. Got some bush beans. Got a new little herb garden here with chives and oregano and it's a lot of fun. Got some new fig trees. Carrots are looking good. Got some pepper seedlings popping up. Woo! Got some hot cans. Woo! Tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Oh my god, there's just tomatoes everywhere. I'm gonna make a separate video in a few minutes. It's just tomatoes. Look at all these banana peppers. Hell yeah. Got some garlic. A peach. A new peach I just got. Some citrus trees from seed popping up. More tomatoes. A mosquito just bit me in the face. A mosquito just bit me in the chest. This uh, chicory dandelion blue flowered awesome. Italian red stem stuff's about to flower and be amazing. Got plenty of blue peas coming on. This is blue popcorn. Looking strong next to a blue Hubbard squash. This is the, the blue plot. A blue Hubbard squash, a blue flowered dandelion, a blue popcorn, and blue peas. And some blue kale. Sort of. I hate this variety of tomato. I'm never growing it again. Harvesting is just a pain in the ass. I really like this variety of tomato. This is black cherry. I've never grown black cherries before, and it's a very, very productive tomato. No problems so far. Damn, these are some big ass bananas. Woo! Yeah, they're. That's the thumbnail for the video right there. This oregano is filling out, taking over. I think these are like miniature bananas or something. They don't get very big, but they're tasty. This is some corn and sunflowers and tomatoes and all oh, the corn's starting to tassel out. Wow, that's a sweet corn. Let's see how that does. Oh my God. <laughs> 